All right, Power Girls, today we're playing the final pin. This is part three. If you did not check out the first or second part, I'm gonna go ahead and put the first part up here, and then I'm gonna put the second part like one minute apart. All right, let's continue the final pin. I'm Right now I'm in a forest. My uh, One of my partner detectives told me to come into the forest. I'm not, I'm not sure why, but we're looking for the crow killer. A killer that has a crow symbol uh, on their victims. Either on the victims or outside of the victims. Kinda creepy being out here. Oh shit. Why the hell did my why the why the hell did my detective partner or friend send me out here? There's a trap, isn't it? Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh, no. oh shit. No. They killed my, my detective friend. I have the murder weapon here. Crow killer fingerprint could still be here. I need to take this to the station. I'm going to find him tonight. Kill him! What can I really do? Don't you think it's a good idea I call this in? Should I get the fuck out of here? Police department? I need to compare the current evidence files with the fingerprints on the knife. Find the evidence room. I believe. Here you go. Evidence room. Ah, oh, fuck. It's locked. There should be a key somewhere in the office. Alright, I gotta go. I gotta go back. It says there's a key here. Where in the fuck is the key? Oh, I see it. Thank you. I'm out of here. Lock the door, enter. Alright, where do I compare this to? This is the evidence. So, you gotta look at the evidence. Oh, grab the evidence box. Oh shit. Who's here? Shit. How do I take out my gun? Take out my gun! Fuck a life or what? I can't go that way. Wait, I can't move. Oh, I can pick the lock. the DNA from the blood stain. Knife uh, fingerprints. Wait, so this this is a fingerprint added by Carlos Madre. There's two different fingerprints. Carlos either got it wrong or there's two people involved. Alright, maybe I should get maybe I should get the fuck out of here. I thought I would run that bitch through a computer. Wait, can I go this way? Why is it all dark over here? Shit, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I'm just gonna run out of here and see what happens. Why is there no one working here? Oh what the hell? Somebody slipped me. Meet me in the house, the house in the woods. The house in the woods. 
Well, I got no choice now. Man, I've been working too hard. I needed some fucking sleep. Wait, he says I need to check. I need to check the evidence in the office room. That's too late now. I'm already going home. I mean, I did check already. I'm parking my car. Wait, am I supposed to go back? Oh, into the office. So I got my own little home office. Inspect the board. Why is it all leading up to this house? Oh, so the house in the woods. I couldn't enter the house a few years ago because I didn't have enough evidence. But now I don't care anymore. I will find him there. Kill him. You notice how time doesn't move? Something sounds going on. Alright, hold on. Dead plants. Wait, am I gonna get some sleep or, or am I going straight for the house? I'm going straight for the house probably. What the hell? I'm going to the house in the woods. This obsession has nothing to do with your job anymore. You're doing this in your fucking spare time. Every. Single. Day. I can't take this anymore. I want a divorce. Babe, I gotta find the crow killer. Or else my life has no meaning. The house in the woods. What's in here? There's nothing in here. Oh shit. Look at that cat shit. Oh fuck. Who's that? Who's in over there? Police. It's kind of hard to hide in this fucking, uh, this kind of house. When I was down, he left me, but I didn't give up even though I was not right. All right, let me check the doors. It seems to have a, like a Bible type. I'm not sure. I, I probably have to do some kind I have to go to look at the other room and see what the setup is. Wait, hold on. Maybe maybe this uh, paper tells us what we need to see. So it's down, left, up, right. Down, left, up, right. Down. Left. Uh, up. Right. Oh shit! What the hell happened? Oh, you know what? It probably opened that door. It opened this door. Even the oh, oh, what the hell is locked? Wait, it must have opened something over here. Let me check the the books. Maybe there's a hidden a hidden door somewhere. Oh, look, there's a key. Okay. So. The key opens the door. And inside this door we'll find what we're looking for. The crow killer. What the fuck is this motherfucker? This person meets the description of the original crow killer. Wait, is there is there a copycat? Blood on him is brown and dry. He's been dead before Carlos the 20 were even murdered. There's someone else in this house who was copying the Crow Killer's trademark. Oh shit. Oh shit. How do I, uh. Alright, grab screwdriver. What the fuck can I do with this shit? Well, can I go through here? No. Oh yes, I can unscrew. Unscrew that bullshit. Unscrew that bullshit. 
let's do this. Enter vet. Alright, let's get it. let's see let's see if we can find the copycat crow killer. Let's assume the, the guy that was dead was the original, even though it, I mean there's evidence from the first part, I think it was. I took a picture and it was the same mask. Alright, let's see. Somebody stab somebody stabbed through the through the filter. Oh shit. I think it's a matter of luck. So this motherfucker knows I'm in here. Oh shit. I just gotta make it through. I gotta make it through, I gotta survive. I mean, are you- are, are people even strong enough to pierce through this- this shit? I don't know. Alright, let me get down through here. Oh, shit! I hit my head. I- I don't know what part of the mansion I'm in, but... Let's see. Every time I keep walking, the corridors just keep getting bigger. I kind of don't, don't like these kind of houses that have this wood fucking shit. Squeaky as fuck. Oh shit. It's the fucking crow, the copycat crow killer. Kill him. I don't have a weapon. <laughs> fucking sh Oh, I just shot. I just instantly shot. Suicide by cop. What? Suicide by dad. Was it worth it? I killed my son. This fucking case. But your stupid job before me, before mom, I'm glad I made a difference at least. Just for the price of Tony and Carlos, I finally made you understand the pain you made us feel. All of this is your fault. Fuck you, dad. No, fuck you. Man, my fucking son. Son went crazy. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. I'm out of here. What have I done? I mean, in my opinion, uh, killing killing his son was justified. The guilt. The case has been solved. Yeah, I wish I never got involved. I killed my only son. I became too obsessed with this case. I'm resigning. <laughs> 24 hours later. Hey, I just saw your resignation letter. I'm sad to see you go, but I understand after everything that just happened. We're all gonna miss you a lot. Hey, when you're at the station to leave your equipment, meet me in the interrogation room. I have some questions about what just happened. I'll see you there. Over. Police department. I gotta do my exit job interview. I'm resigning because I'm tired of the corruption. No, I'm joking. <laughs>
Where do I go? The office? Uh, hold on, let me go in the office. So, uh, nobody here. Interrogation. Uh, All right. I just have a few quick questions for you. I'm ready for it. Do you know why your son decided to steal the Crow Killer's trademark, specifically for the killings of Carlos and Tony? Uh, no. He wanted to get my attention. He knew that I would even be more obsessed with the kid after he killed my two best friends. So he copied the original Crow Killer's trademark before killing Carlos and Tony to target my interest directly. Do you know what drove him to the point of murder and suicide? Yes, I do. He hated me because of my obsession with this case. And he had nothing to lose knowing that I wouldn't hesitate to pull the trigger after everything leading up to that moment. His way of getting paid back before suicide was making sure was making sure I felt guilt of killing my son in that line of duty. And he got what he wanted. I see. Well, that's all I wanted to know. Take care, man. Thanks, dude. Prepare to visiting visit son's graveyard. I'm not going there pissing his graveyard for the bullshit he did to me. Grab a bouquet of flowers. Well, wait, gotta get out of here. Or? Let's give my final goodbyes to my dumb son. Where are you, son? I don't even remember the name. Place down roses. I love you, son. Hey there. Look, I understand you must feel like complete shit after everything. But what happened is not your fault. Kevin changed a lot after the divorce. He blamed everything on you. He became violent, very violent. But it took me a long time to realize I was in the wrong. My frustrations made me forget the main reason why you wanted to solve this case so badly. You were trying to protect us, to make us feel safe. I regret so many things. I regret not being more understanding. I regret not getting Kevin the help he needed. I regret the divorce. I realize now how lucky I was to have someone that made me feel safe and protected. I took it all for granted. What I'm trying to say is, I understand now. I miss you so much. Please, can we start over again? No. Two years later. What the hell's going on? This goofy-ass doctor better hurry up with Linda's ultrasound. The anticipation is killing me! You should be here any second now. You said that like 20 minutes ago! 32 minutes ago, according to my watch. Y'all got watches? I don't even have a second pair of underwear. That's disgusting, man.
So I'm having another kid or what? We've got the result from Linda's ultrasound. Looks like you're gonna be the father of two little boys. This time I'm gonna be do better as a father. I was gonna be there for them. And I knew from the start that I was going to name our kids after those two. The cops. Carlos and Tony. Alright, alright, girls, that was final pin. This was part three. And as I mentioned earlier, there's part one and part two. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Make sure to check us our scary playlist. And that's it for now. See you next time.